Morning. It is Monday the 16th of August and in just under two weeks I've got a gig on bass. I'm playing with Charlie Hannah's band, The Houseplants, and I've played a lot of the songs before. In fact, I've played all of the songs in this set before. I haven't really touched them since like September of last year when we did a live stream gig. I figured I would show you how I'm prepping for a gig. I've been given the set list already and I've made playlists. We have booked two rehearsals. Charlie likes to be pretty well rehearsed for these sort of gigs as we change up the members in the band depending on who's available. <laughs> I'm gonna run through songs. I've made charts for some of them, but not all of them. Why well, make charts? Charts are useful so that you don't have to remember every song you've ever learnt. Unfortunately, I sometimes don't take that lesson to heart. But I've got charts for some of them, so like a good half of these tunes I don't even need to remember. Let's have a go then. We're in G. We did a run through. There were a few moments where I struggled. Like I knew where I was going. I just didn't have it in my hands anymore. So I'm gonna run over that last chorus and outro and just make sure I've got that down. Take your time. You don't need to run entire songs if you're like solid on the first half of the song and ropey on the second half or vice versa. You can just run that bit of the song. So I'm gonna do that. last half of the tune is so strange, right? It goes on and on. It's, oh, it's a whole thing. I think I've mostly got it. I don't want to spend more time than that on it. I'm gonna do a whole other run through of these like in two days time. So we can just keep going. I lower the bar. I have got a chart for this one. It's right here. I literally haven't looked at it. We're in G. It's simple, in pencil. Like just basically the vibe. Uh, like bass rhythm for bits of it, similar when it's similar, and just write the chord changes. Anyway. Middle section. This is the middle bit. Now back to the intro. I was way more comfortable with that one and so I was playing about a bit and like that playfulness is kind of allowed in this band but also I'm like revising bits of backing vocals and stuff to see if I can remember any of those. This is a first run through, it can be rough. A dream will have to do, okay yeah this one's hard, this one I have made a chart for again which makes it way easier. Anyway straight on. again. I said this one was hard, I'm gonna look at my chart a bit and work this thing out because there's a thing that happens at the end of the verse which goes That's it. I'm not 
hanging around, I'm not trying to get it perfect. It's the first run through. It's okay to be dusting off cobwebs and I'm familiar with it. It's good enough that I know where I'm making the mistakes. I'm out here for a bit. Keep it moving, I don't need to be perfecting these. I need to be dusting off cobwebs. So straight on. This is another one I haven't made a chart for. Or if I did make a chart for, it was years ago and I don't have it anymore. It is lost somewhere to my archives. I know it well enough. The recording is very different from how we play it live. So it would be good to just run through it gently. I am completely out for the start of this, so I can just chill. vocal line though. Another one I haven't made a chart for, but I've been playing it for five years, so easy enough. Time for a blues, but with a key change. It's in C as well, but kind of... my hands a bit. Let's talk about something pretty simple. I am currently rehearsing with just the bass into the amp. I can build a pedal board later. I've got an entire run through. I've got the rehearsal to try pedals with. I don't know how the band's going to sound together because I don't know all the members that are going to be in with. Why would I know what pedals need to be on my board? That's just a little thing to think about. Like the sort of things that are turning over in my mind as I do this thing. We've Still got loads of time and I'm already comfortable with the tunes. Anyway, let's crack on. Had a little break, you know. We've got two more songs to run through. And once I'm done with those, I'm going to leave them alone for about two days. Anyway, this song is one of the early ones. This was on the first album of Charlie's that I gigged with him. It's called Hate Your Contemporaries and it's so good. If nothing else, I want you to check out Charlie's songs because they're all so so fucking good, oh for fuck's sake. He's such a good songwriter, the bastard, I love him. I wanted to get down, which is during a That's it. Yes. Cool. I'm comfy with that one. The arrangement of that is very different from what's on the album. One last song, moving the mess around. I have made a chart for this. Probably don't need it, but um, it's, it's a good one. out with Charlie. That's going to be a lot of fun. And that's the first run through of this set. That's what I do. Yes, mate. It is Wednesday the 18th. 
My only plan for today is to run the set through, still just with the bass, straight into the amp, nothing else. Pedal design will happen on Friday. We can just crack straight on. That should be fine. Let's just play through this, hang on. That ending on the rehearsal. Oh, that wasn't too bad though. Uh, we have a set ending here as well. Comfy with that one, that one's fine. Dream will have to do. The only tune I looked at the chart for was A Dream Will Have To Do, which is understandable because that's the hard one in this set. I'm pretty confident that Friday will go okay. I know the lineup of the band now. I know that for the first time ever, we have electronic drums. Friday is the first rehearsal of these tunes. So see you then. Yes, mates. It is Friday the 20th. Just a little after lunchtime, and my rehearsal is this evening in Margate. I'm gonna build a pedal board with you. It's pretty simple, because I kind of know what I want already. First things first, power supply. 
I want to keep this pedal board rather small. This is not going to be an ambient mega board. I'm only going to have certain pedals on here that I need. One of those, tuner, really helps to be able to tune silently. And so, volume pedal with the tuner out. I said that we are having synthesized drums, and because of that, I kind of want to lean into some synth based sounds myself. And so, a really classic way of doing that is Octava. This OC3 will do. Filter, envelope filter specifically. Compressor, pretty much never off my board when I'm playing bass, and it's pretty much never off when it's on my board. For some distortion tones, I have this lad, which is way heavier than I tend to need for Charlie's stuff, and so I back it way off. This is a uh, Dark Glass Alpha Omega, which is kind of two different distortion sounds and a blend knob with a dry signal as well. So it's really quite flexible for sound. I tend to have the drive way down, volume up, so that we're at unity and then like only blend in like a little bit of the grit signal just so you get some anger while still keeping the like clean bass transients and articulation. So, ordering. First things first, there's a couple of schools of thought. This filter reacts to the level of the bass going into it. So if you put the compressor before it, what happens is that this doesn't get moved much. And if you put it after it, the resonant peaks of this will pull the whole bass signal down. So there are trade-offs either way. I quite like compression after the filter so that you can articulate the brightness of the signal whilst keeping the level relatively the same. So you get colour shifts rather than volume shifts. Those are sort of things to keep in mind. Your pedals will interact with each other, especially if they have non-linearities like distortion or envelope following. With that in mind, we are going definitely compressor, after filter, definitely octava as early as we can. The reason for that is because this tracks your pitch. If you're putting, say, distortion before that, that is going to have trouble tracking pitch. So this is pretty much going to be the first thing we go into. On, on this board it is the first thing. So we go Octava, Filter, Compressor, Distortion. It helps to sit and lay stuff out on the board like this because you have realisations like I want the distortion after my volume pedal. So we're getting quite a nice constant signal because we're coming from the compressor, stuff is relatively even all the way along, which means as we go into the volume pedal, max is gonna be relatively always the same and min is gonna be zero. And so we can decide how hard to hit this lad with all its non-linearities and drive. I'm very often gonna to want to turn the octava and the envelope filter on at the same time. I'm pretty much never going to want to turn this off so if I stick this away from my feet, and then this distortion is similar, and then I'm gonna to want to turn this on, like, often. So pedals further away from you should be things that are either always on or only on rarely. Pedals that are next to each other should be stuff that you want to turn on and off together often. Like that. I tend to wire the routing first. Some people wire power first. Doesn't really matter. Grab some patch cables and get going. That's probably enough patch cables, don't you think? You're gonna end up moving stuff around. Having Velcro on both the board and your pedals is essential. It means they're not gonna move once they're on the board and you can move them about while you're planning. So, we're going from the Octiva to the envelope filter. I tend to try and route patch cables underneath the board like this so that they are out the way and you can get stuff nice and snug and close together. Little tip, you can wire pedals together further apart and then move them closer so that now this, there's no way I could have put those jacks in and there's no way they're coming out. From the envelope filter to the compressor, someone's partying. Lovely, yes. From here, compressor, we're going a long way because we're going all the way to this pedal, which is a volume. Volume pedal, very handy. So useful. Volume pedal, 
off to drive. You're the output for drive. That's then going off to the amplifier. And then we just have the tuner pedal. I don't have a system for colors. The only thing I try to do is try to use every color I can and never have both sides of any one pedal be the same color. So I never, say I run red from here to here, I would never run red from here. And since I've run blue from here to here, I'm not gonna run blue from here. Like, it just makes it easier to see where stuff is going on your board. Right, like I can see that the white is coming from over there and it's not gonna be going anywhere else. Like if I had another white cable running out of here as well, then I might be having a time and getting confused later if I'm having to troubleshoot my board. Next up, power. So the way I think about power is you want to keep the cables as short as possible. <laughs> You don't want loads of extra length of cable flopping about on your board if you can avoid it. This power supply has higher amp versions of stuff. I tend to put that towards more power hungry pedals. So that tends to be pedals which have digital stuff going on, stuff with pitch tracking. Things like Drive or a Tuner, they can go without power. They can deal with stuff. Editing room me here, by without power, I simply mean that the pedals draw less current. They all use the same voltage. 9 volts, but some of them don't need so much current going through them. Two separate things. Electricity. It's weird. 100 milliamps is more than enough for any of these pedals anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Keeping cable not loose and flopping about just helps the board travel well. Stop stuff being knocked out when you're flopping it about on the train somewhere. I don't like that. If I go this way will you reach if i do that yeah you will sweet i want to make sure there is slack still i don't want the opposite problem of a cable being held at tension because that's just going to get pulled out at some point or another or just damage the cable neither of which are a good time so don't do that one two three four could actually power another pedal here but i don't think i have something i want to put on the board and so i won't do it that's another easy thing. If you've got eight points on your board, you don't have to put eight pedals on. We may see if I do put on a delay later on. For this practice, I'll go without it and see if it's actually missing. The other thing I'm gonna bring, here's three spare cables. That is probably more than enough. If three of my cables are failing on a gig, I've got more problems than just failing cables, right? And I'm gonna bring some spare long and short patch leads as well. So the thing to do now is test this, because it is absolutely no point you wargaming out some pedal board and not even testing it. I do a surprising amount of stuff sat on the floor. You, if you can hear what that compressor's doing, it's pretty subtle. squashed and up front and it stays in one place. We are going to want you on OC2 mode but without the lowest octave and then we want this bounces the same. The very lowest octave on this is just too low for a bass. A low pass filter that goes up when it's driven with like a little bit of Q. Now we've got synth based sounds. Yeah, that's fine. Distortion. It's very much on intuition with this thing. Like, it is a really quite flexible thing, but I'm looking to still be able to hear the clean tone and just for it to be a bit of brass present. It's not even so the bass cuts through more, it's so that the low end is pointed back towards when it's on, so. Fine, pretty unsaturated. You can hear how the whole thing gels together. That's what I'm listening for. And then the other thing to test, which I have already done, is that the tuner is working when the volume pedal is off. 
which it is. Cool. Good. We are set. Better pack up and get going then. Bring a spare for every cable you can. That's the board packed. And the base. Now the thing I'm not bringing with me is my charts. And that's because I am comfortable with all of these tunes. If it were the case that I was worried about, say, hate your contemporaries, I would bring a chart with me and have it prepared. But I've run these tunes through twice on camera already, and I'm pretty cozy with them. So this should be enough. I don't expect to be surprised by that. See you at the rehearsal. Slight change of plans, rehearsal's been pulled. Not COVID related, thankfully, but these things happen. That means we'll have one rehearsal next week, the day before the gig, and then we'll play the gig. Yes, mates. It is Sunday, the 22nd, and we have squeezed in an extra rehearsal just so that we have that down. I'll take you through it. Come hang out with me while we get some trains. Anything glaring, we'll go through the song again, but hopefully everyone will kind of know it. And you just, uh, don't worry if you haven't got it, just, just yeah. vibe it and you'll yeah. get them. Yeah, okay. This is all you need, you know, like, that's trying to do. You don't know, great. Okay, we're not really we're... in fact. <laughs> okay, so we get the same order as the message. Yeah, yeah. so it craze me first, we're starting yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mine exciting. Uh, is it starting on an F sharp? Yeah. Is with the bass, are you are you going to be starting from the beginning? Uh, it's up to you. I think I'd like it to be so just Chris and me first, then yep. maybe from uh, from Alaska. From Alaska, that yeah, would be yeah. good. We get from the beginning again, exactly just together. so we can bring cool. all gradually. Yeah. Yep. From Alaska to Madagascar. a little bit too fast, chill it into it. That's fine. The other thing I would say is there's the bit where after we do the get to the highest chorus and the solo start, at that point we, we all chill it down and we okay. start again like we go, go right and, and also I'd say especially what you play maybe less because he's yeah. noodling there's a bit where like you're both noodling I was like oh, there's <laughs> too much going on I couldn't take it in. So it's like <laughs> when, when Chris is soloing we've got to just yeah. like keep it ready. You can still have a moment as long as we have a moment. Boot up and boot up. Just so, just there's room for, for Chris to solo. Do you want to like arc it during Chris's solo to like come up and then back yeah, down? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. I'm perfectly happy to yeah. like we give, can... give Chris a fucking storyline to work with. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll go with you and that then. Um, cool, but, yeah. But as long as we give Chris room to to do yeah. his bit, and um, but I like to have it conveniently. <laughs> and... <laughs> but no, that's that's good though. I think let's move on to the next one. Yeah. Um, nice. One, two, three, four. Yeah, do you want yeah, to do it again? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah, so one, two, three. Uh, yeah. 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 Y
Just that middle section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the middle section. Middle section. Sounds really nice. Yeah, yeah, sounds really yeah. Cool. okay, let's do the dream we'll have to do. One, two. They start on their own. Like, basically, this is just Weezer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weezer, yeah. So I gathered that. Is. Yeah, like Bruno, Beverly Hills. <laughs> I feel like one a moment, I don't know, maybe, maybe one two. One feels short, honestly. Okay, does it? Like, just where we've done a double chorus. Oh, yeah. Like, well, okay, yeah. I think but when we end, we end on the do 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 without the bomb. Just like yeah, that. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's always reveals the secrets. Yeah. Yeah. That's that just fine, we see what feels natural. Okay, so we're going to together yeah. or did the pressure push you yeah. into yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. On the push. did the pressure yeah. push you into yeah 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 sorry cool. so We're let's go from, go from the chorus um where we start so, yeah. okay about one two three Yeah. You want to go through the whole set? Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. We're going through the whole thing again. So we're doing it all again. Don't worry. worry. So one, two, and four. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Yeah. So. Those. Those. Don't mind those royalty fans. Don't mind those royalty fans. Far too many to care about me. But you hate your contemporaries. Okay. Yeah, so then it's the same apart from because the first time you didn't do that verse, obviously. Yeah. But then otherwise it's just the same again and again and again. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. there's one quieter verse. Uh, the third verse is quieter. Yeah, yeah. Literally just duh, duh, duh. Just feel the oh, yeah. There's a major problem you might find that it's not your contemporaries. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That's, okay. how, it's, that's how it ends. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's do moving the mess around. Yeah. Okay. to the ground, but you're only moving the mess around. That's yeah. how we end. But if, it, cool. if on the real thing we feel like doing more, there'll be a little yeah, solo section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have we got time to go through? Yeah, yeah let's go. We've we got 25 minutes, so let's go through, oh, let's go through the, the harder ones, shall we? Oh, Great oh, stuff. Oh. That's brilliant. Amazing. Great. Yeah, it was really fun. Well done, Zach. You got the job. Right, thanks for having me, guys. Cool. Am I still in the band? Mm, you can, sure. I mean, <laughs> just after the gig, yeah? yeah yes, mates. It is Friday the 27th. We have one rehearsal to go. The gig is tomorrow. I have ran through my shit all this week. I am comfy as hell. So uh, this should be a lot of fun. Join me on some trains. Let me go and have a check. It might be the back needs to be switched on still. That's it. So, uh, have I lost my voice? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Staying on the verge of getting a cold. <laughs> Something's wrong. Uh, almost a hippie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all, oh, all the classics. <laughs> okay, so, uh, where's my. I'll be so fucking mean to you. Like, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. That would be able to do it. Thirty B energy drink can. It's a packet of monster munch. I picked them up and I threw them in the bin. Yeah, I love that change of beat at the end. Yeah. That was very no, cool. No. And, the, and the shaking yeah. thing. That was really good. Yeah, the it's like, a, what's it say on here? Maracas. It sounds amazing. I really, yeah. Um, and actually, there was one thing I was thinking was just I, I found myself, maybe all of us doing it anyway, but you know when we're doing the chilled bit? Mm -hmm. And then when, whenever we do the f uh, f two, five, the change, dun, dun, quiet. And then whenever we do that, dun, dun, quiet again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just in emphasizing the, in that. the jam at the end. In the jam at the end, just emphasizing that kind of movement there. Okay, ready? Yeah, go on. A one, two, three, go. Cool. Really good. Nice. Okay. So funky and low volume. Yeah, <laughs> I love this new setup. It's so nice it's and, and nice, um, <laughs> nice tempo as well. He's thinking yeah. that. Yeah, it was slow. That was that was a gentle pace for low. I like that. I like that. So I'm gonna do it too. I was thinking, like, is there a way that when we're doing the really big last two choruses, we don't all stop for the do 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 and everything? Is that we oh, yeah, keep yeah. playing through? Cool. Okay, yeah, also, like, yeah, um, cool, but you can't sometimes you can't hear. You can't hear. Yeah, maybe when it's louder or something. Yeah. Um, and and I think like with the uh, the do 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 do, I think uh, like um, when we're doing the, when we're really getting into it, if you just yeah. sort of like. Uh, just like yeah, kind of yeah, all the bass line. Absolutely. And then, and because also, you know that beginning bit when yep. the first, I reckon it sounds better just that first one if it's just on the guitar. Yep, cool. And then you start bringing in the sort of comedic, doing it on everything, like towards the end, or like even the, yeah. sort of the last couple of ones. I think definitely like the last one of the song. Definitely the last one of the song, that would, yeah. Be, when we're nice and exposed. Yeah. Because <laughs> then it's like, it's funny, like making a feature of that one. But, um, okay. It's fucking silly. Yeah. 
You go second, because then it goes like yeah, yeah. the guitar thing. I think yeah, that works yeah. out better. Yeah. Yeah. Great, well, that was really fun. Okay, and and uh, you're calling solos on the night like, then, and I will. Okay, yeah. That was cool. brilliant. Yeah. Well done, everyone. That was really, that was spot on. Pretty tight. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do moving the mess around. And that is the set. That is, that is that is commitment. Only ever watch the second of any I've film only ever is seen better. The second one. Yeah. I highly recommend watching Sharknado 2 with no context. It's pretty I'll give good. That a go. Got heaps of junk lying everywhere. You gotta do something or you gotta go spare. Pumps in your head. Pumps in your head, motherfucker. And they all sit in their seat and leave. There, you got fucking problems. Oh, I like you for subliminal messages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that for whatever. <laughs> I think it's a good look for you, actually. We should swap guitars. The dungarees. I that would not suit that, yeah. Oh, fuck. The uh, the, would I'd lose the guitar. There's only a problem. True. It looks like <laughs> it's just got strings. But oh, that would be funny. The, the night, just swap instruments. We could do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I reckon I can play your parts. Do you reckon you can play mine? Well, I, could give, I could hash it out. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> <laughs> I did that for sure. Dream will have to do. Dream will have to do. Yeah. Do. Did you like go to the flat six and then resolve down to the three? To do. the line I do when I've got someone else in the <laughs> Oh, just like we did in the rehearsal, eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Six, six, six. Um. <laughs> 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 okay, that's good. That's good. Apart from some of my mistakes, but... Um, that was great. Yeah, but apart from that... Around. I couldn't remember whether we'd done that bit before. We, we have literally never done that in a, any one of the run-throughs in any of the rehearsals we've done for this Which bit do you mean? As in, uh, keep going on No, than... what I mean is, no, no, what I mean is, like, had we done the burn it down to the ground, move the rest of before the, in the outro? Oh, before the outro? Yeah. No, we, um, if we, if... I, I was confused, basically. We always like... button it with that, so, I'm um, thinking about other things, like, like daydream. Yeah, it happens. Uh, Problems in your head. What happened in the yeah, real gig? Problems <laughs> <laughs> in your head. Fuck, that's gonna fuck me up on the gig.
just got in. It is approaching midnight on Friday the 27th. Feeling comfy about this gig. Should be good. Anyway, you'll see plenty more of me. We can talk about gig day. How I prep for that. It is Saturday the 28th. It is gig day. And that means I am going to take everything out of my cases, have a look at it, and put it all back in. Just check it over, make sure I've got everything I need in there. Base case first, spare strings. You do not want to be on a gig breaking a string and not having a spare. They will be on the stage with me when I'm playing. I've got my brace, I've got a microphone in case I need it. I don't think I will. Bass is in here, earplugs, spare power cable. I've got pencil in here, handy. My bass is active, so having a spare nine volt battery. Cable. I have two long cables and like three short ones. I want to have way more than I'll ever need just in case something goes catastrophically wrong or someone else is short on something, I can help with them. Because if say my guitarist doesn't have a cable and I can help sort that out, then our gig goes well. And the other thing I'm packing, I've got a solar charged battery that'll be powering you on the gig. iPhone charge cable. Spare headphone cable, that's just for me listening to stuff. Meds are going in here. That's everything for this case. There is a strap. Got a strap. Right, that's all of you. Pedal ball case time. We have two kettle leads, a lot of spare cables, patch leads. I have my volume pedal, which is part of the board. All patch points are in, everything is secure and down. Nothing's wobbling too much. Pretty happy with that. I left anything in the case. Nope, that can all go back in then. Let's sort out this. Three spare leads for power, a load of spare ca patch cables of different lengths. And that is everything I'm gonna need for this gig. So, let's go play a gig. We are here. Shit's ready. Sound check in like 20 minutes. But no one else is sound checking before, so I'm just gonna get straight to plugging shit in. As I'm sure you can well believe, I've double by and check already. Oh, so look at these official bumps like this. Hey, this is so nice. It feels like a professional professional. Yeah, look what shit the last time I was here. <laughs> my pedal was doing something weird and I was wondering why. It's because I've got the input and the output wired the wrong way around. Sounds sick, upstairs. Is it? Is that Yeah. So, we'll leave another lead. I'll leave this in the lab. Don't you just pull this? Yeah, yeah. Can I possibly have a lead with one of the, the ends that's like that? With an angled lab. Angled lead, so I can Yeah, I do. Is anyone playing anything that makes a sound in the room? Oh, my goodness. Just press. Who's the guitar? Mm. Synthesizer brackets French. I couldn't hear the bass. Yeah, yeah. No, on stage. Yeah, on stage. Really and maybe the bass up a bit. If there's a way of having a bit of bass in my monitor. Yeah, I reckon it needs to. That's loud now, yeah. Uh, if I could get a little bit of this mic. Yeah. That would be lovely. That would be good. Don't check, worry. check, one, two. Fever, dream, scribble, down with the full sleeve. Much better, lovely. All I'm getting is like at certain notes, I'm getting them poking yeah. out way more than I'm like yeah, yeah. in for. Okay. Two count, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit better, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Is everyone okay with this? Who's sorry, me? Yeah. One, two, one, two. Oh, yes, it's still making some boogie noises. Yeah, you're right. Oh, this room is in a shop. You happy, James? Yes. Okay, we'll leave you alone then. Yeah. Thanks, James. Just gone 10. Geek time. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello. Thank you for being here at Elsewhere Fest and thank you for having us. Uh, I'm Charlie Hannah and these are the house plants. Yeah, thank you. The first song is about needing um, external validation and it's called Praise Me. It's also really good, Charlie. I just wanted you to know that. Thank you for the praise. Thank you. <laughs> By this point, the gig's just underway. Eve done our rehearsing, we've done our preparation. If there was something you needed to do by this point, it is already too late. But we got it out of the way, we can just play the show. I thank you to Charlie for booking the gig, and to Zav and Chris for playing with me, to Elsewhere, Sammy, James, Alex, all the crew there for making the place just so welcome in the community. That was the sound praise. I don't know what to ask. Thanks to Cash Miracle and Tyfe for subscribing to my Patreon. It's a good way to support me. I upload previews of things I'm doing. I upload scores and parts for riffs I write. I upload offcuts from albums there, which you can access for as little as a dollar just in case that was something you were after. See you around.